A lot of room she runs in church. You're done. And I, she doesn't listen to us at all. Okay. That's not bad in here. Except for if you turn your back on her, if you were, yeah. like, we had an appraiser come yeah. in, she went after him. Yeah, he was, he was standing over there taking pictures of that. Sit. He was look, looking Sit. in that direction and she was here. And she just kind of strolled over there. And when she got, like, two feet from she went, bam, nailed him. Wow. Let me try to turn. Yeah, it's usually when she's not under control that that's still not as bad. Sit. Yeah, but you turn back. Yeah. <laughs> no, don't don't say anything to her. Don't worry. Yeah, she's definitely taking advantage of vulnerability, but it's not as bad as I thought. Okay, get, you got the leash right, and then you had the you got the pinch collar. Let me see that pinch collar. Yeah. All right, walk that way again. Right, look at her body language. Walk a straight line. You're walking like me after one beer. <laughs> there you go. Follow that tree. All right, come back this way. Not even ground. <laughs> right there. Stop, ever sit. And then D-O-W-N. Very good. You see your body language? Remain neutral. Remain neutral on the praise. See, a lot of times you feel good, right? And then you praise her. What the hell is that? What the hell is that? Don't. No, not this type of, not this type of dog. Not. Not when she already knows the commands. During a learning curve, or you're teaching her a new concept, of course you need to praise to give her some encouragement and motivation on what's what's what she's doing is right. But not anymore. Not anymore. Uh, we got to go up front. Let's go up front in the driveway, where she escalates it, and then we're gonna um. And then we're going to set up some scenarios that she's normally failed at and recreate them. All right? Are you dog somewhere in here? <laughs> no, I didn't bring it. It's too hot to bring my dogs with me. I know I sometimes I do. Oh, but <laughs> plus, it's a two hour drive, so I couldn't. It's too bad the lady next door don't let her dogs out. Yeah. She's not even home, I don't think. Right there? I'm going to look at her body language. Just keep walking. We'll stay here. Well, her heart rate went up, didn't it? Her ears are back. That means she's paying attention to her. Come back this way. That lead should be loose, not tight. Right there, stop. Have her S-I-T. And D-O-W-N. No. Down. She's not used to doing obedience out here. She's used to doing her own thing. This is the foundation for all your problems. If you're having a problem in the front yard, first teach her what's expected of her with obedience, and then we'll go to off-leash. And that's a valid expectation today of you having her right here next to you while I walk up. Nothing wrong with that. Nope. And, let's, and let's hope she gets up and tries to charge. Let's hope that you can reach out and touch her from a distance. So she learns. I don't want her to do everything perfect right now. I hope she doesn't. No. I want her uh, to fail. <laughs> I want you to see what she does. Yeah. Well, I can see it in my head because of what happened indoors. Yeah. But I want to see it out here. All right. Walk some more. Right there. Have her stop. Good. Pause. Wait. That's how she should be. All the other classes, look what, Look at the difference between me and them. Right. You have no praise, right. and the dog listens to you yeah. ten times better. Yeah. Isn't that funny? Period of time. Yeah, not too long. Just had to figure out which method to use on her. I had to find out whether, one of the biggest things is find out if she's going to handle stress with aggression. Her mouth's open, so you're fine. Right. Shake my hand. Her mouth is open, so you're fine. If her mouth was closed, that would not be good. That would be a problem. Right. That would mean, that would similar to me closing my fist, getting ready to hit you. Mouth open, you're fine. Completely fine. And that's what you do. If somebody walks up to you, and her mouth's open, that means you're fine. But as soon as it closes up, and then doesn't want to look at her, or him, and then looks back, she's going to bite. So just make sure. Make a big circle around me. Make it, make it right here. We have to also determine whether she's aggressive or not, and she's not. She's just out of control. That's it. Yeah. Done. Nice. Doesn't that feel better? The other way. Now, damn it, you're not yelling, too. <laughs> no, I said Holy moly, you, I thought you were yelling at me when I came in. <laughs> Be nice. And it's hard to. It's hard to because you feed off her energy, don't you? Yeah, sometimes. You can't do that. That's it. Right there. You can't feed off her. Down. You can't feed off of her. You're running the show here. 
Say it nice and soft. Look, we forget too. If you say it soft, they're forced to listen to you. If you yell, they can... Right. It's easy. Oh, yeah. Is she off lead? Yep. Okay, now, just for training, just tell her to stay and uh, walk away and then go back to her. So she knows you're off lead. Stay. Yeah, now go back to her. Now she knows. Okay, I'm coming up. I'm coming up. If she doesn't, I'm going to get her to come up, okay? <laughs> Tell her to stay. Okay. Damn, that's better than what my dog would do right now. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> no, we'll do things different. Don't worry. Don't don't, don't undermine this. Really, we, we we look look. She's looking. She's always looking low at my feet. Okay, so she's learned to go after feet. But that's okay. Yeah, there's a, there's a, they're moving, and sometimes whoever had her before could have done this with her as a puppy, thinking it was funny. So they've taught her that. Now, let's make this a little bit more difficult. See that lead? Hold it in your hand, and that's what you're gonna do, like you did with the roll of tape. No, she don't need to be on lead. No, the whole thing. Okay. The whole thing. Release it. If she, if no, if she takes off after me, she can bark. Hell yeah, she can bark. Okay. That's what you want. But look how calm she is now. Finally, that's a little better. If you hold a dog like this, remember she's a bully. You're holding her back from a fight. Okay. That's why you have to do off leash with a okay. with a bully, right? And that's why we did that. So the only thing I did was when you were coming, I just know. No, that you I did that perfect. That was great. That was great because you're breaking muscle memory. Yeah. She's used to going crazy. But now look, how long did it take me for her to get calm? Less than five seconds, which is outstanding. And if you saw my tape, some of those dogs don't take. No. It takes a thirty seconds. It yeah, takes a you minute. Yeah, that one that was after you. I saw the video. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so you gotta they gotta learn to decompress, and that's all she needed. Right. Let her bark. Let her, let, let her go. As long as she doesn't get up. You can't change who she is. So she can growl, she can bark, but she can't get up. You want to change that part. Right. A lot, remember the human element, if we tell them no when they're growling, they're going to stop growling and they're just going to want to bite. And more, more, and this is why I educated you guys on her body language, because that has happened. So if her mouth is closed, she wants to bite. Better, better. The trigger of the net, the knock. If her mouth is closed, she wants to bite. Or yeah. yes, her mouth closed and tight. She wants to bite. Okay. Her mouth's open. She's relaxed. She's comfortable. 